Happy holidays, everybody within the YouTube citizens. Y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash the Truly Find Out. <laughs> and this is a very special Christmas Eve edition of Throwback Tunes on this particular Thursday, one day before Christmas. Yes. And today's album I'm reviewing is a bit of a um, taste from home here. Detroit Deli, A Taste of Detroit, how ironic, by Slum Village. Now, this is Slum Village's um, fourth album, and the group is from Detroit, by the way. And it was released June 29, 2004. Now, there's a bit of a, a slight bit of controversy and, you know, some story and some information within this album that must be shared with you, the YouTube citizens. Now, this album was released shortly after Batin, hope that's spelled Say his name correctly left the group leaving only t3 and lz in the group now originally what well, i believe if memory serves me correctly it was four of them. um let me double check that i believe it was four of them but yeah no no it was actually a grand total of six excuse me it was a grand total of six but two of them died unfortunately by 10 and, and as we all know jay diller jay diller was a member of um slum village now Going back to Detroit Deli, so basically, let me give y'all some history regarding this one and this one particular track on this album called Reunion. So after Batin's departure from Slum Village, there was a lot of pressure upon the group to deliver a solid follow-up to their previous album, Trinity, which I have, by the way. The first single from Detroit Deli was Selfish, produced by and featuring Kanye West with John Legend providing vocals during the course. The song was a moderate hit in the group's highest charting single, partly as a result of Kanye West's mainstream popularity. The album received a fairly solid reception, but further promotion uh, from Capitol Records stopped short of a second single or video. Some of their longtime fans viewed the collaboration with West as a ploy for mainstream attention. The group would acknowledge that this somewhat on their following album, simply titled Slum Village in 2005. Another good album of theirs, and I got that one obviously. And before I get on to the uh, the, the the issue with the song with Union, let me talk about that whole um, selfish song with Kanye. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have even though these cats are from Detroit, I have not heard of these guys until I saw that selfish video with featured Kanye West. I heard that song, I was like, yo, this mug is on point. This mug is hot. And then I went out, got this album, fell in love with it. And then the next one came out, which was again entitled Slum Village. Fell in love with that one. I'm like, you know what? Let me look these guys up. They from Detroit. I need to. And I went out and I got some of their past albums. So, real talk, they came out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight albums. But also, they came out with two mixtapes, two EPs, and three compilations. So, out of the albums, I got, I recall hearing Fantastic Volume 2. Which came out first. I don't know if I heard Fantastic Volume 1, which came out the same year as Slum Village, um, which was 2005. I'm not sure if I heard that one. Now, as I told you, I got Trinity, which is also entitled Past, Present, Future. And I believe I downloaded Villa Manifesto, but I have not yet listened to their two newest albums, Evolution and Yes. Now, EP, I did, I recall having, uh, Villa Manifesto EP, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think so. And, okay. And for the compilations, I got the best kept secret and prequel to a classic. And you would think I would have Dirty District or heard it, but I don't know. But anywho, let me get back to, you know, the um, the issue with behind this album. Now moving on to the song Reunion, which was originally supposed to feature all four members of Slum Village. So by four, I'm assuming they mean um, J Dilla, T3, Young RJ, and Batin. Speaking of him, however, he was absent from the final version. Now, um, this was the official quote from T3. A lot of people think that a Dilla track, that you know, referring to the reunion track, a lot of people thought that this was produced by Dilla, but it was actually produced by Black Milk. Dilla is just rapping on it. Basically, what happened was. Me, I'm speaking from T3's own words here. Me and Young RJ went over Dilla's house playing joints for him off the album because we wanted to work with him on it. We played a couple joints and he picked to rap on that one. Okay, that's exactly what I said. He picked to rap on that one, okay? Originally, it was supposed to be me, him, by 10 and 
LZ, hopefully I said his name correctly, but by 10 at the time wasn't feeling wasn't feeling doing anything slum village. Again, that's how it was pro. Me and LZ already had our verses. Then Dilla put his rep mode D then 12 Eminem's verse down. Then LZ said, you know what? I'ma keep it real. I'ma tell people what really happened with Bot 10, because they looking at us like he three kicked Bot 10 out. I didn't kick him out. He left the group. LZ wanted to help the wanted to tell the truth and he did it. That's when that's yeah, that's when he put his unlawful demons verse down. He called Batin up maybe like a week after he did it and was still asking him to get on the song, but Batin never did. It was supposed to be four of us, but Batin was going through his whole struggle. I'm kind of mad that we never got to make a reunion LP because me and Dilla always talked about doing it. It's kind of upsetting that we didn't get to close the Slum Village chapter like that. Now it's at a point like, where do we go from here? So yeah, that was kind of messed up. So yeah, that's basically the background off of this app. But now, this is a tough one to say because it's between this one and the newest, and the, not the newest one, but the one that came out a year later, Slum Village, as far as the best Slum Village album ever. I have not heard Evolution, yes. And I want to say I heard Fantastic Volume 1, but I'm not 100% sure. But I want to say that Detroit Deli was the best one. I want to say that. It's between that and the one that came out a year later, which was entitled Slum Village. Now, the producers that work here was um, B.R. Gunner, Black Milk, J. Dilla, Kanye West, T3, Young J. Am I forgetting anybody else? Uh, no, that's all of them. Alright, so... And this one came out with two singles. The first, Obviously, we all know about this one. Selfish between Kanye West and John Legend. Um, that single was released March 16th, 2004. And again, this is a single that made me go, whoa, these cats are cold. Wait a minute, they from Detroit? So, <laughs> and I, when I got the album, I'm like, yo. And then the second single is called Do You. And I did not see, I, I did not know that was a single. Uh, I didn't see a music video. Well, obviously they just said there was no music video or anything like that for the Do You single. Now, as far as the selfie single, it, it reached as high as 55 on the US chart, 20 on the US R&B charts, and 15th in the US rap chart. So the single did pretty good, the uh, Selfish single. Now there was a um, B-side single that went along with Selfish called Reunion, ironically, I was just talking about that. Now, let's get on to the reviews. All Music gave it three and a half out of five stars. Puff Fix Magazine gave it three out of five stars. Rapreviews.com gave it 7.5 out of 10. And oh my gosh, Rolling Stone gave it two out of five stars. So let's get on with the tracks. Now there are 13 tracks, meaning I can only give you my top, and I really, I really wish I could give you my top five. Oh my God. But I, I gotta stick with the rules that I came up with and got to give you my top three. Now, one of these 13 tracks is a skit. So really there's tra 12 music, I mean 12 songs on this album. The first track is called Zoom. That one's uh, featuring Fat Cat and Black Milk. The second one is the, the second single called Do You. That one um, featured MC Bread, Bree rather, excuse me. The third track, oh my gosh, that one's called Dirty, and that one features the late great old dirty bastard himself. And that is an outcall track. Track number four is the skit called Late 80s. And then we get on to the main single of the whole album, Selfish, featuring Kanye West and John Legend. After that, we got Closer featuring Drell. How you pronounce his name? <laughs> And then after that, track number seven called Old Girl Flash Shiny Star featuring Melanie Rutherford. After that, it's um, track number eight called Keep Holding On featuring Pooh Bear, Cray D, and Melanie Rutherford. And as you can guess, Pooh Bear is from the group um, Little Brother, if memory serves me correctly. I want to say he is. It's been a minute since I heard anything Little Brother related. I need to look him up. Um, but yeah, I'll get on with that later, I guess. Whatever. Moving on. Track number nine, and this is another good track, is on featuring Big Huck and MC Bread again. Track number 10, called The Hour, is another good one. That one featuring Cray D, Melanie Rutherford, and Black Milk. After that is The Things, but well, not The Things We Do. It's called Things We Do. That's track number 11. Followed by Count the Rage, which is a really good one. That one featuring Darrell. And then track number 13 is Reunion. 
And that one features Jay Diller, and obviously that was not produced by Jay Diller. That was produced by Black Milk. In fact, Jay Diller only produced the second track called Do You. That's the only one he did. Uh, and the majority of the others were produced by B.R. Gunner. So, yeah, there you go with that. Now, with that out of rate, again, like, there's a lot of good songs on here. So, a lot of these songs are at least good. You know, I'm going to start from the bottom up. Keep Holding On, Things We Do, Do You, and Closer. Those were, okay, those were pretty, those were good, you know. Nothing special about them. But then we move on to the next five. Uh, again, from the bottom up. It's On, that was a good track. The Hours, Zoom, that was a really good track. Old Girl, Shining Star, that one's good. And Count the Rays, oh my gosh, man. It, I, oh, man. Those last two tracks, Count the Rays and Old Girl Shining Star, those two, man, I could just sit down and listen to them all day. Which means the top three is really good. So, number three is Reunion. I mean, come on, man. Jay Diller's on the track, the, the beat is out cold, man. It's one of those mellow out. Like, really, just about the whole album is a mellow out joint. So, that's why I really love it. But that Reunion track is out cold, man. And then I struggled with what I wanted to be number one, number two. I really went back and forth with this one. And it was a tough choice for me, but I went with Selfish as number two. And this is the one that got made, you know, basically, this is the song that started off for me as far as me listening to uh, Slum Village, me knowing about Slum Village. And yeah, so that was the track, you know, that had to be in my top three. And the beat is out cold, Kanye's on the joint. And not the current Kanye, we talking back in the, K, back in the day Kanye, late registration Kanye college dropout Kanye so you know that is how cold uh and number one is dirty featuring the old dirty bastard and the beat was our cold man lyricism was night but it really was the beat the beat got me over there it was a slightly better beat than um selfish and that's why that's number one for me it was between that and um selfish so what did I think about this album well a lot of great a lot of great songs on here like I said uh Zoom on up. So really, though, top six songs I gave you are really good. The hours and his on, those are really good as well. And, you know, so there's a lot of, there's a, eight good songs off of this album that only have 12 songs, really. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to rate this album a 4.25 out of 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, again, there's a lot of good songs in there, but... If as as good as Dirty is, as Self is, and Reunion, none of them doesn't really scream mega classic. You know, it's not on the level of a uh, Dead Presidents or a Illmatic or Wind or Put Up Your Hands Where My Eyes Can See. None of the songs on there are like that, but they're they somewhat close. And this album, I, I'll say you should go out and buy it. If you don't want to, then I'll say download. You you gotta have this. Whether you go out and buy the physical copy or you download it for free, I don't care. You must have this song in your collection in some way, shape, or form. Now, there you go with that. Y'all know who this is. This is Jay Ryan II, aka the new Jay Gatsby saying, peace out, y'all, and have a safe holidays and Merry Christmas.